right, so a bunch of people were riding their bikes the wrong way down the middle of the street in San Francisco last month, and they got into it with a female driver after she blocked her car, after they blocked her car, I should say. Then she nudged one of their bikes with her front bumper. There's a video, actually, on YouTube of it. She tries to drive off, and the guy she nudged grabs his bike lock and starts bashing the side of her car with it. Apparently, she wanted to press charges because police have been looking for this guy ever since. And they finally found him on Saturday when the cops saw him riding his bike and recognized his hipster mustache, which was uh, two upward curls on either side of it. His name is Ian Hespelt, and he's 39 years old, facing charges for vandalism, inciting a riot, assault with a deadly weapon, and false imprisonment because he tried to stop the woman from driving away. And he got nailed by his hipster mustache. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. So to the dummy with the black mustache. I'm out there. This story comes to us from New York City. 52-year-old Alexander Copeland managed to get himself fired when he wasn't even working. He wasn't supposed to work. He drives a bus for the Metropolitan Transit Authority. And he decided to get hammered on Sunday afternoon while he was off duty. Again, that's okay. But then he decided to get behind the wheel. Even worse, the drunken joyride he took was in his own city bus. Never mind the bus drivers aren't supposed to cruise around in the city bus when they're off duty. Well, he went from the bus depot in Queens, drove at least 15 miles. A bunch of people called 911 when they saw him swerving across multiple lanes on the Long Island Northern State Parkway. And so the cops pulled him over. He blew a point twenty, more than twice the legal limit, charged with reckless endangerment, unauthorized use of a vehicle, aggravated DWI, and traffic violations. That's how you get fired on your day off. Yeah. Not cool. The bus is out of control. Yeah. Big dummy. And with only 20% loss of my brain function. <laughs> so Apple unveiled their new product and feature yesterday, including a Siri-enabled Apple TV. And I remember saying this before, that you'll be able to have your TV do just pretty much anything. Siri's built into the remote. When you're watching a show or you're, you're looking for a show, you can just say, Siri... Show me this TV show, and it'll search across things like your Netflix account and other things and, and get that show for you. And kind of an example how it'll work. Siri, I want to see poor um, Portlandia. Finding pornography. No, 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 not porn. <laughs> I didn't say porn. No. Finding gay porn. No, I don't want to watch that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but <laughs> I'm a straight male. I don't like men. Sex with mailmen. No! Sex with mailmen in Portland. Hey! Sex with kangaroos. What? That's going to sell for 150 bucks starting in November. Yeah. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Classic rock. The 